Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to give you my top 10 thoughts on basically Vietnam versus Cambodia. Like what I think the differences are, the big differences. And also, I have my companion that I have met here in Cambodia, this Airbnb. I've named him Dave. Hello Dave. Wave to the people. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Number one is the roads in Vietnam are a lot crazier than in Cambodia. Now, for obvious reasons, this is because population in Vietnam is so much more. There's like 75 million more people in Vietnam than in Cambodia. And another reason is bikes are so cheap and they recycle their bikes a lot. Like their bike will be with them for a lifetime. They'll just keep fixing it and fixing it, fixing it until one day it just completely dies. And then they'll probably just take parts off that for their other bike. So yeah, bikes are so cheap. Number two is the cost of visiting attractions in Vietnam are so much cheaper than in Cambodia. But the only problem with Vietnam is you may go to like museums which aren't fully in English. They're only like tiny little parts in English. So you kind of don't get your money's worth, but you do kind of get your money's worth here in Cambodia. If that makes sense, like the attractions aren't that good in Vietnam compared to Cambodia. So you kind of pay more in Cambodia, which is fine. The museum we did actually go to in Phnom Penh wasn't actually that good. Number three, the coffee comparison between Vietnam and Cambodia. There is no comparison really. Like Vietnamese coffee is amazing. It's probably the best coffee I've ever, ever had in my life. I've even tried like Luwak coffee and Blue Mountain coffee from Jamaica, which like they're two of the biggest in the world. So yeah, it beats that hands down. Number four, Cambodians are really, really good at speaking English. What are you doing, Dave? What are you doing? Especially in the tourism industry, Cambodians are really good at speaking English. I would say better than the Vietnamese in the same sector. They just seem to like speak it better here. I don't know what the reason for that is. But yeah, I mean the Vietnamese... What do you want? Vietnamese are really good as well. Number five, Vietnam wins on cleanliness. In Cambodia, it's kind of still smelly and dirty and they really do have a rubbish problem that they really need to sort of get sorted out with bins and stuff instead of just leaving like bin bags in the street for like the rats and stuff so yeah that's probably I'd say that's their biggest problem is like sort of cleanliness in the streets. Number six the people in both countries are equally as nice and welcoming like they're really really nice people I would say the Vietnamese are kind of more inclined to rip you off for say a bottle of water on the side of the road or something that doesn't have like the price written down they're more inclined to sort of rip you off with that I'd say the Cambodians so far seem to just be like, right, that's that price, that's that price. Even though the prices aren't written down, they, they're not trying to rip you off. Number seven, the food. I would say Vietnamese and Cambodian food are equally as good. They're really, really tasty, really, really nice. I would say in Vietnam, the food is cheaper. I think that's because of the US dollar. I think like a lot of the places here have like just rounded up to the nearest dollar to make it easier and to make the sort of maths a bit more simple and obviously when they give you like less than a dollar in change it's back in their currency so I think they just kind of round it up which makes everything a little bit more expensive. Number eight, the beer here is so cheap in Cambodia like 50 cent beers are not uncommon and you can even get 25 cent beers. In Vietnam they were more expensive, you're kind of looking around a dollar as your sort of kind of looking around 50 cents is your cheapest in Vietnam but it's rare to find that's like really really local places we found it once on our whole time there most of the time it's like a dollar and up fancier places you can sort of pay around two dollars two dollars fifty what's this cat doing really what are you doing you nuts <laughs> Number nine is the hotels are so much better in Vietnam. You get a lot more for your money in regards to like fixtures, fittings, beds, bathroom size, size of the rooms, balconies, pools. It's a lot more for your money than here in Cambodia, which is, I think that's just due to like population size and sort of how many hotels and stuff there are. Number 10 is the visa. The Cambodian visa was very, very easy to get on the border. Really easy. How are you doing? The Vietnamese visa was a little bit more complicated. It's not too complicated for a month. 
you just have to like sort of get the stuff from online first from a company it's kind of weird the way they do it but if you go for one you'll find out the way you do it it's it's safe but it's just a weird way round of doing it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up hit subscribe down below if you haven't already and me and Dave will see you in a couple of days bye bye say bye Dave bye bye